there. I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, ready, aim, and fire. Congratulations. You finally realized you're not life's doormat and you're ready to stand up for yourself. Well, that's great. Only you find yourself caught in a dilemma. Either you state your needs in such a way that no one pays attention to you, or you come off like a raging bull and, oh, people pay attention to you all right, but it always ends up in fights or tears. Neither approach is satisfactory. So what to do? Simple. Ready, aim, and fire. But what does that mean? Ready means check your timing. There's a vast difference between standing up for what you want and need at the time you want it and standing up for your want and need after you haven't gotten it. For example, you realize it bothers you that your partner is always late. Paying attention to your timing means saying to your partner before the next time they might be late, Honey, it's very uncomfortable for me when you're late. I would appreciate it if you could make arrangements to be on time rather than waiting until they are late once again, and then being thoroughly disgusted and frustrated, having checked your phone every five minutes, blowing up at them. They may still choose to be late, but now they know how you feel about it, and you have a basis for discussion, meaning you have a basis for problem solving. Secondly, aim. To aim is to be clear about what you want and assume a problem-solving approach to getting it rather than waffling around about what you want and then punishing yourself or other when you don't get it. Be clear about exactly what it is you want and need and set up your request in such a way that you're likely to get it. So, for example, don't say, ah, you know, um, uh, it's, it, it's sort of a hassle. I mean, oh, it's not a big deal or anything, but it would be kind of nice if you could get to things on time, you know, like picking up the kids and appointments and like that. Well, all the person is going to hear is not a big deal. Be clear. It is a big deal to you. It makes you uncomfortable. It in- interferes with your happiness. So say that. It makes me uncomfortable. And then set up your request with satisfaction in mind. Thirdly, fire. As in, be direct and straightforward with both your body language and your speech when you state what it is you want. Look the other person in the eye. Keep your body still. Don't wiggle or squirm or clench your fist. It's distracting. And then, state your want in a firm, clear voice. Don't turn your request into a whine or a demand. Simply be direct. To summarize, be assertive, not aggressive. State your wants and needs positively in a clear and direct manner. Don't defend your needs tooth and claw after the fact. It's bloody and it rarely works. Or sidle up to your needs in a roundabout, diluted fashion and then be surprised that no one hears you. You deserve the absolute best life has to offer. So, ready, aim, and fire. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.